All right, we have a unexpected visitor. Apparently, Sakura wants to bring the fight to us, maybe? We go into the yard. The whole world is covered by the shadow. My entire body is numb with fear. The black shadow is standing in front of us. It can crush this house if it wants to. The difference in our power is obvious. It has transfigured to an existence that's unlike anything I've ever seen. The black shadow does nothing. It's not Sakura, but a shadow shaped like her. Okay. The real Sakura is under the Ryudo temple. The thing in front of us is a virtual image. <laughs> does she not hear Tosaka's provocation, or does she not hear anything at all? Wavering in the moonlight, her shadow looks lonely. Her eyes look at me. Senpai. Weak, as if she'll reply like always if I just reach out. But I don't. What I must do is determined. I can't say anything to her, so as doing so would weaken my resolve. She looks away. After hanging her head for a moment. She confronts Tosuka with a cold voice. Tosaka's voice is the same. Completely cold, showing no concern for Sakura. せっかく手に入れた力だもの。is this mother like pregnancy metaphor is kind of weird but all right だから私が残っている限りあの子は外に渡しませんへえなんだなら急ぐことはないわけね白が私といる限りあんたは安利眉を押さえつけてくれるってわけよかったわね白 桜、この分ならまだまだ元気そうよ。ふざけないでください。私がどのくらい持つか。姉さん、分かっているんでしょう。なら、今すぐ先輩を連れて逃げてください。私はそう長くはありません。このままだと、いつ自分が消えてしま
そうしてくれたら私は安心してあの子と差し違えることができますから Take his life with mine? Wait, but I don't get it. I'm confused. <laughs> don't you, do you want Senpai to survive or do you want him to die? I don't know. Sakura says she's going to kill him using her life. Hmm. Oh, no, no. I thought, okay, I thought she meant kill Senpai as in take his life. She means take his life as in take、uh, Angra Manu's life or Ang Angra Manu. Angra Manu. Angra. So that's what she means. I thought she meant kill Senpai again. <laughs> Okay, Sarka says she's gonna kill him using her life. Tosaka trembles a bit. Is that because she believes her or? Sakura. <laughs> ここの大きな口滅できるってことね。聖杯の中にいるサーヴァントもその力を受け継いだあんたも一緒になって死んでくれるんだ。そうです。だから逃げてください。私は変わりきる姿を見られたくない。先輩。She's desperately begging us. Sakura's shadow can kill us right now, but it asks for salvation by letting us go. But I can't answer her wish. I can't leave Sakura and run away, nor can I let her kill herself along with Angra Mayu. And. Tosaka breaks away from her sister. She's contradicting herself a little, so it's suspicious. はじめからそうしていればよかったのよ、あんたは。ね、話はそれだけ。ならさっさと消えなさい。慌てなくてもすぐに会いに行ってあげるから。いい、さくら。あなたは他の誰でもない。この私の手で殺してあげる。Tos
私のために用意しなくちゃいけないのよそうだな宝石の件に関しては確かに矛盾してるけど今のさくらは俺たちの手に負えないし剣を作るのは以前からの約束だ宝石の剣を投影することでさくらの影に対抗できるならそれは絶対に必要なものだうんそれじゃあやっぱりああ遠坂の逆だよ俺はさくらを助けることで戦いを終わらせる俺はさくらにとっての正義の味方になるって決めたからなさくらを生かすってことはさくら以外の人間をみんな殺すっていうことなのにまだそうと決まったわけじゃないだろうさくらを助けてこれ以上犠牲が出ない方法があるはずだどうだかねさくらはもう何人も殺してるそれでもそんな人間を助けることがあんたの正義なわけシロ Her inquiry is decisive A sin I can't talk myself out of She puts it into words and I finally そうだたとえさくらが人で亡くなったとしても守るそうなって自分を殺したがっているさくらもひっくるめて全部からさくらを守るんだ俺がやりたいことはそれだけだ誰かの味方をするってそういうことだろ I'm able to tell her what I think はあ臆面もなく言い切ったわねあなた I nod back feeling no shame そうまあ何言っても無駄だとは思ってたけどまさかこれほどとはね正直負けたわあれどこ行くんだよ、父さんどこって、戦いの準備をしなくちゃいけないでしょさくらがあんな忠告するってことは、本当に余裕がないってことだもの。急いで準備しないとね。それはそうだけど、話はまだ。話なんて終わったわよ。要するに、シロは自分が生きている限り、さくらを助けるって言うんでしょ So the answer is to kill Shiro first and then kill Sakura, right? That's your plan. Yes, I'm going to be a good one. 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 Where did her nervousness go? Tosca looks angry now. But I'm going to be a good one. 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 I'm going to be サクラをどうするかはあなたに任せる私の出番はあなたが動けなくなってからにしてあげるわそれなら文句ないでしょシロウの頑張り次第でサクラは助かるかもしれないんだからトスカリーズ with that The uneasiness in my chest goes away We're thinking oppositely But トスカ still wants to save サクラ Then I can trust her with サクラ We both like her. We both like her. Amazing. Even though she's like super evil and <laughs> killing a bunch of people. The Tosuka should be able to save Sakura. It's 10 o'clock. Tosuka said we'll prepare for battle and go to the Ryudo temple before the date changes. I see. Ilya hasn't told her how I took the shroud off. Yeah, I'll, I can do it. Even though I've already did the thing. Oh, Oh, yeah, the Azov sword. It's the, it's the little like dagger thing we used to, I guess, punch stab Kotomini、uh, Kire in the Fate Ra, I think. I guess we're using that as a base and then turning it into something else. Tosaka hands me a dagger. The dagger is a ritualistic equipment. It might be something she favors as it looks well used. Not only that, even an amateur like me can feel how much magical energy is stored in this thing. 
Well, this is nothing compared to the shadow, but it's still a hundred times more than my magical energy capacity. Kosaka sulks like she didn't want to use them. But they are pretty expensive. She seems generous, but maybe she's really stingy when it or stingy? Stingy when it comes to money. Well, with that aside. いいのか、父さん。宝石を全部使ったら、父さんが自身の予備はなくなるんだろう。お前だってまだ本調子じゃないのに、そんなんで戦えるのか。そうね。飛んだり跳ねたりぐらいはなんとか。けど、魔術を
準備はいいいいしろハーチャーの腕を解放したあなたならもう手順を説明することはないわよね I nod イリア tells me to sit down and I do so けどイリア俺は自分で見たものかアーチャーが作ったことのある武器しか投影できない宝石剣とやらの情報は皆無だいくら宝石剣に真似た探検と元になる設計図があっても宝石剣は複製できないぞ分かってるわシロにはまず私の中に入ってもらう、うん、大聖杯を作り上げた時遠坂の大師府も立ち会った Oops. I keep, I keep skipping dialogues. I don't know why I keep skipping it accidentally because I feel like she's finished talking, but then I. But then she wasn't, anyway. Okay, so yeah, she has a record of her memory. Is it like. Is it like uh, like this? You know, is it is the memory of the, of the weapons, you know, in a menu that you just bring up in your head? I don't know. Idiot. いいから目を閉じてシロの体はそのままで意識だけを別の場所に移すわ前もやったでしょシロの目を私の中に移すからそこで宝石剣を解析してシロが中に入ったら私が左腕の拘束を外す200年前の記録へ遡る圧力と左腕の侵食が同時に来るわ気をしっかり持って。できるだけ早く投影を終わらせなさい。イリア's voice is trembling. Her arms are as well. 宝石剣までは私が連れて行くから、シロは息を止めているだけでいい。雑念は捨てて、余計なものは見ないで。シロは私の中から、かのゼルレッチを抜き取ってくるだけでいい。ゼル、ゼルレッチ。Space slips or sp splits. Is it because all my senses are within her memory? Or is it because my left arm is released? I think it's both. Literally. There's no pain. The cognition of pain doesn't matter now. I'm swallowed by my injury. I'm falling into a swirling maelstrom of pain. I don't know where I am. I don't know who I am. I don't know what it means. Where am I? Who are you? It's a large circuit. Multi layered cresses are carved on a bare rock that's over 50 meters in radius. It's like a large observatory rotating by itself in the deserts of Arizona. Hmm? Weird image. The circuits cover the area in many layers. The geometric figures turn in place. A white girl stands in the center of the beautiful spider's nest. Her name is Justiz. Justiz? Justiz? Justiz Lizrik von Einsburn. Okay, I can't pronounce this. Justiz? Justiz? Justiz Lizrik von Einsburn. Anyway, she's the Magus that devised the Holy Grail War. Hmm. The great Magus, who was called the Winter Saint. A Magus accompanied by Makari Zoken and Tosaka Nakato. Yeah, the three great families, and she, she was the first one, I guess. The great Holy Grail is activated. Justice becomes the key reenacting the ancient sorcery. Yes, the Holy Grail is just a Holy Grail without her. Her will is needed for Heaven's Field. The old man knows as well as Makari and Tosaka do that the Holy Grail is a mere wish bringer. My vision narrows. The world expands. I concentrated on something needless. I did so my body was ripped in half. The world is too big for this small body. I'll eventually see nothing. The process behind this 200 year old ritual doesn't matter. There's only one thing I need to look at. You know, if you need to know all the lore, then you can just look at the wiki. I concentrate, I concentrate on the man standing in front of the Great Holy Grail. Ugh, the Great Holy Grail. I concentrate on the dagger in his hand. Okay? That's the original. A ritual dagger with a jeweled blade. The kaleidoscopic gleam sears through my eyes and into my brain. Okay, he's shuddering. 
I understand the instant I see it. I understand that I can't comprehend it. All I can is imitate its, its shape. I can't analyze its structure and project it. What kind of a magical theory was it constructed with? The old man's dagger is still a mystery. Even if I use Archer's arm and every last piece of knowledge in heroic spirit Emia. It's alien technology. The old man is embodying general knowledge from a far future, beyond the reach of modern man. Okay, interesting that he said every last piece of knowledge in heroic spirit Emia. So I mean, was it revealed? I can't remember if it was revealed. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. He maybe maybe Ilya mentioned that that uh, Archer was simply you know the future self of Shira. I can't remember now. Did I? I don't know. It's all like. It's all blurring, you know, all the different routes, because when, you know, Shiro learned the fact that Archer is his future self, it varies, right? In fact, sometimes he doesn't even know, I guess in the fate route, I think. But I feel like, you know, as soon as he uh, took off the shroud when he fought Berserker, I think at, at that time, like, uh, uh, at the very latest, then he would know, you know, that uh, Archer is his future self and everything, you know? I'm repelled. I can't be repelled. I can't reach it. Not reaching it is unforgivable. I reach out. I reach out. I reach out. My eyes are burned out. My brains are burned out. I extend my left arm for dozens of meters. Extend, extend, extend. I hear Ilya's voice. But I'm not there yet. I don't even have my fingertips on it. I can't back out now. How can I back out after seeing that miracle? The ultimate one. Get there. Get there. Get there. Get there. Oh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, I did I jump myself or was I pushed back by something? I'm flying and I land on my back. My left arm pain. My tongue, my fingers, the trembling won't. You know, Chiro did say that he only had three projections left. Uh, that's number one, so I guess he has two left. Assuming he actually projected the sword? Actually, I don't know. Did he project the sword? Seems like he was pushed up before he could do it. Again, with the weird, like, muted words. Ow! A big knife stabs me from the side. It's so uncomfortable that I repel the one wielding it. And I realized I just punched Ilya. Wow! First you slap her, then you punch her in the face? She pats dust off herself and gets up. Good, she's not hurt. She points at my face as she scolds me. Oh wait, feeling something hard in my left hand, I look down. <laughs> feeling something hard, eh? No. Hey, it's, a, it's the gem sword. I managed to project it. It's projected, but it uh, doesn't seem like the one I saw. It's all gray. First of all, I don't feel any magical energy in this thing. Tosaka's Azov sword is many times better than this, and this blade won't cut paper. とりあえず、お疲れ様、シロ。
教会の連中がいたら調査どころの話じゃない。Put him on trial? Magus trial? You know, better call Phoenix Wright to defend、uh, both of them. Assuming Sakura is gonna live, assuming Rin is gonna live, I don't know. Anyway, Ilya laughs. I guess, even though that's probably not the right pronunciation. I assume, like, German. It's very, like, obviously, there's a Japanese accent to it, so it's probably, again, not the correct pronunciation. But I wouldn't know anyway. Kisja Zelrikt Schweinorg or something, anyway. Hmm. So I guess we do know a sorcerer, I guess. A Tosaka sorcerer. Can we, like, you know, hey, Zelric, could you help us out? You know, you know, Holy Grail is kind of destroying the whole world. Could you do something about it? No? Alright. Uh, maybe, you know, when you think about it, you know, all sorcerers are all, all powerful, right? So maybe they don't really care, you know? Maybe they're just too busy traveling amongst different dimensions, <laughs> you know? He's not in this world, but might appear all of a sudden? Is he just a wanderer that likes to travel? Hmm. Yeah. Whoa. I let my guard down. I get dizzy. I clench my right fist, feel the pendant digging to my torn flesh, and keep my consciousness. I steady my breathing so Ilya doesn't notice. My limbs. I still feel my limbs. They're still there, right? Okay. Good. I thought I'd lose something if I used projection, but I'm not missing anything yet. You know, it's not like. Equivalent exchange where I lose an arm and a leg, though we already lost an arm, technically. My head's still working. The biggest proof is that I can check on my condition. I should be able to use one more projection. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we、yeah, have three in total? I thought he said three more projection, but I guess three, like. I don't know, either he meant, like, the last projection you can't use because he'll just die, or that he literally just means there's only one more. You know, it's because he already used three. You already use one to summon nine lies, blade works, or whatever. And then use one to summon a gem sword, or project it anyway.、Um, and then the last one he has to save for a crucial moment, probably. No, I have to use it. I have to save Sakura in a way different than Tosaka. Archer's arm will make it possible. No. That's <laughs> right. And these, these muted, you know, muted dialogue thing is so disjointing, I think. So disjointed. Even though I guess that's the, that's the intended effect, but this is, no, no, it doesn't feel right. Again, it should be better if, like, you should, like, dis, like just, just record the original dialogue, but just distort the parts you want to distort, right? With, like, some sort of effect. Probably be better. Also,、uh, Kaleidoscope. I know Kaleidoscope. That's one of the best craft essences in Fade Grand Order. I don't have one. I wish I, I, wish, I, wish I could have one, but, you know, it's out of my grasp. Mm -hmm. I can't understand her. It's like her words are being muted somehow. It's not that I can't hear her, she's just speaking a language I don't understand. 
She's talking some strange language and holding something dangerous in her left hand. Nausicaa's holding a sword I'd never seen before. Never seen before. Well, that can't be. I projected, I think, that sword just now, and my left hand is empty, so it must mean I handed it to Nausicaa. Shiro? I get a chill. My memory's vague. I can't recall anything. My understanding of the details don't match up. Assuming maybe he's losing his, uh, the speech centers in his brain, maybe? He's like, he's not remembering words? That's my assumption. I clench my right hand. My eyes finally focus in exchange for dripping blood. I get up. My limbs are light compared to my disconnected head. They're so light that I think I may be empty inside. Tosaka grabs me. Her speed is surprisingly slow, but... My mind isn't working, and she has a hold of my hand before I know it. Tosaka is looking at the pendant in my palm with astonishment. Do you... I, I, I remember correctly, um... Or I don't remember, I don't know, I don't remember. Does she know? Does she know? I know Ilya knows, but does she, does she know at this point? About, you know, Archer. I don't know why she's surprised. But I have this because... Something I picked up. Why did I pick it up? It's something I shouldn't forget, but I, but I can't remember. But the stranger in my left arm knows what it is better than I do. Words that are not mine come out of my mouth. Tosaka takes out a pendant from her pocket. It's certainly the same. It's a simple design for a jewel user like Tosaka, but I think something simple like this brings out her beauty. I'm talking about that right now. I nod back. Hmm. I, now I'm confused. Like, when... When did Shiro pick up this pendant? I mean... I guess the one that Tosca has is the one that she used to save Shiro, right? And the one that... Shiro has is the one... I, I'm confused, actually. Which is the one? Like, which is which? Because there's one, obviously, there's one that... Um... Archer just has, right? Assuming because in another timeline he kept the the, the jewelry and never and never gave it back to Rin, I guess, or something like that. But uh, usually in the other routes, um, Shiro does pick up the the jewel and give it back to Rin, and she just has it again. I'm a little bit confused. I don't remember now. I don't remember which is which, but I guess. This pendant has power in it, I guess, from Archer, maybe? I don't think Rin put, like, magical power into it. Unless future Rin did it? I don't know, I'm... I'm confused, a little bit. But hey, there's magical energy in the pendant. So maybe we can use that in the future. Hmm, who knows? Tosaka puts her pendant away and walks off with Ilya. Tosaka's bad temper borders on outright hostility. She takes Ilya, who follows her without a word. Eika. 
apparently updated. Do we see the jewel sword or something? Uh, there's an Azov sword. We saw this before. Magical equipment. Is that it? Do we see... Where is it? What was it called? The gem sword. Hmm. Zelric. Whatever. I don't think we have it here. Let's find... Spear thing. Yorokobe. Yeah. Nothing about that sword that we just projected, I guess. We don't learn much about it, so we don't know. Hmm. I have to find out what happened to me before I start moving around. Oh, a little bit of hiccup in OBS. But I think it's fine now. Okay, I think? Let me just wait a bit. <laughs> Let me just wait a bit because my stream apparently got disconnected. Hello? I guess I got disconnected. Am I back? Hello? OBS? This is annoying. I'm gonna wait a bit. I guess I have to wait for uh, OBS to reconnect. And I should be back? Hello? OBS? Okay. Ah, that always happens from time to time. My internet's not the best. Oh well. Anyway, I have to find out what happened to me before I start moving around. I'm still conscious. I can figure out the situation if I don't let my guard down. I think about why I'm here in the shed. Sakura's warning. Sakura warned us to run and Tosaka said she'd fight. Then that's right, we have to go beneath the Ryudo temple. I'm on the ground. I realize that I'm inside the shed. My right hand's hurting. Oh, thanks to that, my consciousness is back. I get up and check how my limbs are doing. Don't lose spirit. I'm certainly losing something at hopeless speed. But it's not fatal. At the very least, I should be able to fight normally until the day dawns. Hey, Ryder, we haven't seen you in a while. I quickly turn around. In the back of the shed, shrouded in darkness just beyond the moon's reach, there stands a servant in black. Ryder, yeah, Ryder, uh, did Ryder save us? Uh, uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, she saved us, right? When the soccer attacked us recently. Yes. あなたが桜に危害を加えようとする以上、あなたを守ることはできない。ですから、先の森ではあなたに手を貸さなかった。バーサーカーに追われたのは、あなたたちの自業自得ですから。Hmm, you saved us once, but then I guess didn't help during that time. Ryder explains lightly. She speaks without emotion. It seems she was waiting for me to be alone. じゃあ、ここに現れたのはあなたを殺すためですね。あなたたちはサクラの敵です。なら、このままサクラの元にどいかせるわけにはいかない。That's what I was afraid of. I remember, like, you know, Sakura using her last command spell doesn't mean that Ryder will follow it uh, the whole time, right? Technically, I mean, she's saying she's uh, Sakura's master, ironically, because she wants to be Sakura's master. Uh, so that she could disobey, or rather, because but but because she doesn't have any command spells anymore, she can't just disobey the last spell she used anyway, or whatever. No. Anyway, the rider's holding a nail-like dagger. I feel her hostility creeping up my spine. Well, rider, serious. I, eh, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We could fight back. They'll probably kill us. 
because we need to save that projection for a crucial moment. And if we use it now, we might be able to win. We might like project something powerful, um, but then we'll just die anyway. So, and that'll be a waste of our projection. We can give her an answer. We can persuade her. We can use our powerful charisma skill and persuade her. You know, um, maybe you know, convince her that killing us now won't help Sakura. Right? I give her an answer. Previous. I wonder what this previous question means. I'm probably something. Either I don't know what what did she like, did she ask a question recently like in the dialogue I don't think she did I think this is the answer to like a a question she asked like a a while back so not that um are we gonna escape we just run away we will probably get killed she's a lot faster than us and we're pretty weak right now so let's try it <laughs> actually that's say I want to save I want to save first before I die. Uh, I think, yeah, okay. That's... All right, time to die, I'm assuming. I can't be killed here. It's two meters to the door. I can get there in one step, but jump with all my strength. Go! The problem is that Ryder can close the distance long before I get outside. Ryder emits hostility that can be taken as anger or dejection. It might be because the shed's dark, but she looks like a giant snake. Hmm, like a gorgon, maybe. I concentrate only on the signs of the attack, and I avoid the dagger that swung at me before I jump back. I jump out into the yard. The rush of dodging a superior opponent's attack and the joy of escaping makes my heart beat faster. But that's enough pleasure for now. The fight just began. I now have to beat riders somehow. I don't feel anyone coming after me out of the shed. Ryder slowly appears from within. Okay. She disappears into the night. Ryder's presence disappears. Or well, maybe she left the ground? I don't feel her hostility anymore and I don't think she's coming back. Was that the wrong decision? I don't know. We didn't, we didn't die. Did she let me go? If my suspicion is correct, she might help us if the opportunity arises. Hmm. That might be the right decision, maybe. <laughs> you know? Maybe showing off how, like, we're a complete coward. <laughs> maybe she'll help us in the end. In that case, let me try something else. Because that might have been the correct decision, actually. Um, let's fight back! Let's go! I have to use Archer's arm, let's go! Destroy my mind! Ah, I can't match Ryder. I can't afford to use any more projection, but it's better to take chances if she's gonna kill me. I activate my magic circuit, I'm not daring to take my eyes off her. I won't make any weapons in the last second. I'll project something and counter her the instant she attacks me. Ryder's hostility dissipates. Ryder steps back and relaxes as if she read my mind. Ryder. Hmm. Oh yeah, in the fate route, that's exactly what happened. Like, Shiro saved the day by projecting something for Saber. Oh, well, she disappears. She left the grounds. Uh, did she let me go? Might help us if the opportunity arises. Okay, I feel like this sentence is specifically a hint that uh, we did the right thing. So, I guess that doesn't matter too. We just go back here. Okay, I feel like, yeah, I guess all the decisions don't matter. How about we just try talking? <laughs> Will that get us killed instead? Just kill me already! I want the bad ends. Uh, she once asked me, What was it? Remember, it was... Oh, okay, there's... There's a question. Okay, this is like an another decision. From that decision... Uh, will I be able to fight until the very end? Will I not give up until the very end? Will I be on Sakura's side until the very end? 
I mean, I think it's this one. I don't know. Now, now, now it's branching, so I'm curious. Like, what happens if I answer wrong? Um... I'll just pick this one. I think that one's right, so... That's right. She asked me under the starry sky if I'll be on Sakura's side until the very end. The words I couldn't say to her back then, I can tell her now with confidence. ライダー、俺を行かせたら、桜が苦しむから止めようとしてるんだろう。ええ。それが分かっていて桜を殺しに行くのですか、シロ。殺すためじゃない。救うために行くんだ。ライダー、俺は最後まで桜を守る。どん
Okay, let me just go back one more time, just exploring all my options. This is kind of like a, you know, interesting way to branch the story. I said, will I be fine? Like, what about this one? Did I say this one yet? He asked me if I won't give up until the very end. Mm, that's the same thing. No, wait, did I pick that already? There's a reply after him. Oh, wait. Is my memory going? Is my left arm, you know, destroying my memories? Okay, that's both of them are the same. Okay. It ends up being the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's uh, yeah, let's go with this. I wonder what happens. If a rider just just doesn't help us. I assume we die somehow. But we'll see, I guess. The clock uh strikes midnight. It's twelve o'clock, the promised time. I wrap the a Azov, Azov, Azov sword with cloth and tuck it under my arm. This is my only weapon. The only other thing I'm taking is the pendant. Ilya is going to stay here. It's partly because of Zolkin's after her, but I'm also having her stay here because she's my hope. I nod and get up. There's no pain in my left arm now. It's just that my human functionality is eroding. I can't tell what I'm doing if I stand still. I can't promise that, Ilya. There's three more bad ends I need to get, so... I wave goodbye to her and leave. Go to Ryudo Temple. It always, always ends in Ryudo Temple, doesn't it? The air is rumbling. Pressure that crushes the spirit of anyone who comes here. Wind must be blowing far above me. If I strain my ears, I can hear it howling. I know this atmosphere. It's the reenactment of the event ten years ago. The air is thick with curses. Even people who are not magi should feel the ominous air of this place. Okay, go down to the basement, maybe. Is there a basement? Probably. The forest is dark. We climb the mountain using the moonlight that filters through the clouds. We push our way through the tree branches. There's not even an animal trail in this place, so we even have to climb down rock walls. It's pretty vague. Oh, I can. We must be behind the temple because I see many dead trees. There's no sign of human influence. There's nothing here but dead trees in a small stream. Hold on. That means the water is coming from somewhere. Are we gonna find a super secret entrance that was here this whole time? You know, we just didn't investigate in the in the uh, in the other routes. Following the sound of water, I figured out which direction to search. The stream isn't coming from the mountaintop, but from a rocky outcropping. I can't see all that well in the darkness, but the rocks are large. The formation looks like a natural gate, and the water is coming from behind them. Okay, 
We pick our way down to the stream. It's more like a spring flowing out from the rocks. The stones are piled on top of one another where it starts. There's a crack big enough for one person to fit through. It's like a snow hut made from rocks. You can see that a huge boulder is blocking the entrance, so nobody would even try to go in it. An illusion? I try placing my hand on the rock. I don't feel the rock and my hand goes through the space instead. Tosaka goes into the darkness without turning back. Once we go into the enemy's lair, there's no backing out. I take a deep breath and follow after her. You know, don't forget to stock up as many health potions as possible and uh, get a save point. <laughs> 